guys and welcome. I'm Big Al and this is Motorsport Manager with Hitachi Racing, or sorry, High Tech Racing, my apologies. And today we're at the British Grand Prix in Guildford. So since you guys have been last with us, we've done a few changes to the car, etc. Well, we haven't actually fitted anything yet. So, what have we been doing? Well, if you can look in here, we've improved the performance of our of one of our engines, which is good. So that is max, 18 out of 18. The second engine, we're not even going to worry about because we've already started to improve the performance of our good new engine. So we've got two new engines. We have a good new gearbox. We've got an average gearbox, and we're building a secondary gearbox. Then we'll work on the brakes. As you can see, I'm trying to improve the performance of the one set of brakes because they're really, really bad. And obviously, once... Uh, Kevin is finished with the reliability. I will move him on to the secondary engine for reliability and the reliability of this gearbox. And as soon as Becky's finished with the reliable with the performance of the brakes, it's really really bad until I build a new set and this engine. I will move her on to this gearbox and get it done because we're not going to worry about these originals because they're going to be scrapped now. So. And I'm obviously going to design two new sets of brakes after, once the second gearbox is done. So basically Becky's going to come in and improve the second, both gearboxes. And hopefully a new set of brakes whenever it gets done. But Kevin's taking so long with his reliabilities. He's driving me bonkers, man. It was like nearly 300 days. It's down to 57 now. And Becky's down to 26 days. No staff changes have been made, thankfully. So it's just straight into the racing this week. So uh, we're going to go with 16 for above because I don't think we're going to get any higher, to be fair. And I'd rather make money than lose money. So we're not going to fit any parts to the cars. They're both going to stay the same. Let's get into the qual well, practice. So we're going to select our two drivers. As you can see, it's absolutely chucking it down. So this is typical British Weller, which everyone's used to. I ain't going to change anything to do with the cars because we won't be taking part as normal. We just skip simulate the session and we'll be back once the session has been simulated. So s practice is finished and as usual we're down way down at the end. But this only goes by positions so it makes no odds. So after that that's how really bad it is. Okay excellent. Right now, let's see how bad our car setups really were. So here it is, guys. Wrist day at Guildford, UK. And as you can see, 16 for above, we get 75 grand in the bank. Probably make us minus money, on our luck. So as usual, there's I don't think there's any point in giving them the wet tires, but... Hey, they earned it. So guys, I'll just check out their uh, setups and we'll come back whenever we're ready to rock and roll. That's all the car setups change. Now just to change the strategy on to, for the first lap, all out attack. We only get six laps of fuel. I don't even know how many laps this race even is actually. Ooh, that might be a bit of a worry because I, I haven't put a strategy in place at all at the minute. So both drivers are going to go on full on attack for the first lap. 16 for a ball for a 75,000 pound bonus. And we're 1 2 on the grid. Well, that would just be perfect if we could. But then at that point, I should have went for the higher bonus. So here we go. All lights are on. And it's race time. And we're off, and Callum Elliott is off, well, Fitta Paldini is off their flyer with Elliott holding out second. Big gap being created here by the Brazilian, Fitta Paldi. He's on fire already, look at that gap he's pulling away as Elliott is holding out against Pulcini. And we're ready, coming through the first lap. Of 13. 13 laps. Right. Well, he's away like a rocket. And we're holding out 1-2. Will we have 1-2 at the end of the first lap? 
As we come in round, we pull in a big lead at the front. There we go. One, two. First relap. Excellent. Just dropping both back on the medium now. Let them cool down those tyres a little. This is where Elliot will probably start to fall back. Hopefully Pel Fittipaldi can hold them out. As third, as they're all challenging each other way, way behind. Which is pretty good, but now they're all closing up. And Elliot's just been taken like he was never even there. Followed by Kari. They must be still on overload. As Pulji and Kari. Now Ericsson has taken Elliot. What on earth is up with Elliot? Push boy. Jesus boy. You dropped from second to sixth. You should have been holding up. And Kari has taken Filipaldi down here in second. Let's catch up with Filipaldi. He's under pressure by the looks of it. He is. He's under pressure by PK. Who's trying to go around the outside of him. But cut up to it. And he holds on to third. Second. He holds on to second. It says third here. PK got past him. As is Ericsson. Wow. Great driving against him. But he's pulled it back. Philip Hildy takes off the inside. And holds it. This held in the third place. A second and first pull away. But now everyone's coming back at him. And he's still holding out. Is that Elliot's in fifth now? Elliot's in fifth. Elliot putting pressure on Ericsson. Which has given Phil the fit of a chance to extend away here. Bit of free air. At the end of this lap. We will pit... Elliot, we will pit Elliot at the end of this lap and let Fittipaldi go away for one extra lap. Yeah, 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 I don't care about your tyre. It's fine, it's fine, just keep pushing, keep pushing. You're down in sixth. And that nice gap has now reappeared for Fittipaldi. Elliot drops down to seventh. We go back on board here with Elliot, with young Callum. He's battling for sixth against Dennis. Right. Let's go for it. You're going to pit at the end of this lap, young man. We will fill you right up. Your parts are looking pretty good. All in your engine. Oh, well. Not much I can do with that kid till the new engine gets improved. Oh, he's not got enough fuel to do it. Okay, well, we'll just put his fuel... On slow. And Fittipaldi's up in the first at the minute. Up in the first. Oh, maybe I should put him on super softs. Elliot's down to third. I want him to conserve his fuel. As well. Let's conserve his tires now. Oh, they're all both gonna have to come in. They're both gonna have to come in. Oh no, I'm gonna have a freaking hold up in the pits. The one thing I wasn't trying to do, it looks like his engine's gonna go as well. Looks like we're gonna have a hold up in the pits as Filipaldi comes in, and so does Elliot, we've got everyone in the pits in one go. Unfortunately for Callum, he's going to have to wait, because this race didn't work out the way I wanted it. We're on a hold up now, with two drivers in the pits at the same time. One's away, and one's only starting his. Oh, this race has been destroyed already. Elliot... Callum Elliott, who was down in fifth, is going to end up way, way, way back. Right, he has to hold it. You're going to have to go for it, kid. You're going to make an extra stop. Extra stop for you. And then we'll put you on softs. He's down to 17. Fit of clear R there for Fittipaldi, the new driver. And I have absolutely shafted Callum Elliott's race. Absolutely shafted it. 
big mistake by me. Big mistake. I didn't realize Philip Lee wouldn't have made it run to set another lap. Seven laps remaining. Tell you what, kid, just you go all out. So all we can do is let you burn it out. See if you can make up a few positions. As Phil Lepaldi is now challenging for first on his super softs. Where is he? There he is. He's in first now. Oh, wow. He's taking Ericsson. He's got Schumacher behind him, but Schumacher doesn't take, does take him. Schumacher did take him. Pushing your tires. Ah, uh, park condition. Twenty-eight. Park condition. Thirty-five. Oh, uh, got the pit again, guys. This race is already over. This race is just ended. He's on low engine mode as well. He's down to fourth. He's in the mix of it. Well, take it easy in your gears. Your gearbox is looking okay, though. Right, now he's in neutral for everything. He's done in 17th. I think he's done. And he's now done in 9th, man. His engine is gone. His engine is gone. It, he's going to have to pit him. Okay, how many laps is left? Four laps remaining after the pit stop. We'll give him five in a bit. Let's fix his engine. That's going to ruin the... Ruin it. Uh, he's not getting tires. It's solely going to be engine. Callum's going to go past them. Then he's going to pit. These last six laps, yeah? Okay. Oh, he's going to have exactly enough fuel for the race. Let's fix his engine as well. This is just destroying this racing for us, guys. Absolutely destroying it. Engines are failing left, right, and center. And we're now off sponsor target. Well, we will be off sponsor target. Come on, get him out, get him out, get him out. He's done the last now. As he comes out, in last, Elliot's going to come in. That's going to drop him all the way down the track as well. And it looks like another sponsor failure for high-tech racing. I really need to get these engines improved so I can get quality engines in these cars for the, latter, for the, for the last... Um, stint of the championship so we can actually get decent decent quality and maybe get some decent points on the board and how far is he away from him oh he's gonna come up he's not far behind actually to be fair we're gonna be 19th and 20th respectfully and hopefully people pit again out comes Callum in last place and already Fipaldi is already caught PK. He's closing in on PK at a high rate of knots because PK had a quarter distance between him. No, I'm not going to repair your brakes, dude. You're just going to have to live with it. Brake failure and suspension failure. Well, there's only three laps remaining, dude. In the next, at the end of the next lap, you're going to go all out at it. I don't care what happens to your car. You are going for it, Fittipaldi. Lap 11 to 13. Do I just go all out attack? He's up to 17th. He has taken... Fix Suzumi. What? What's he doing all the way down here? Oh, he's got to retake him, isn't he? Oh, yeah, with ease. With ease. Right. Well, we're coming up to 12. There we go. Let's go. Full at it, lads. Let's just go for it. 
We run out, we run out. <clears throat> yeah, tough. His car's starting to fail, left, right, and center. His gears are going, his suspension's going, his engine's going. He's just got to try and make it till the end of the race now. He's up to 17th. Elliot's in 18th. Elliot should be catching him right and quick. He's on the faster tyre. We got two, well, a lap and a bit left. Can we make the 16th place? Can we get to 16th? Everyone's done two stops. The engine fixing has killed us, to be, f be honest. Oh, there's a retirement. Get in. We're up in the 16th. As soon as we pass him, we will make it. Yeah, well, his engine can be low. Can he just got to keep on racing. <coughs> Oh well, we're on the sponsor target now, we've had a retirement as Elliot and I should pass Calderon, boom, last lap of the race guys, we've made our sponsor target, let's put him down on the medium now, leave Elliot sprinting for it, because I reckon Callum could actually pass um, Fittipaldi in this race. Let's have a quick look and see how much further it is up the road. There's not much in it. There's not much in it. <clears throat> Hello. Gunfer is closing in on Callum Elliott at high speed here. And Elliot is having to fly. Hey, I said go to Elliot because Elliot's under pressure. And he's finished it. It was a complete disaster, but we managed to, did we, yeah, we managed to hit our sponsor target, which is good. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I got a really bad cough today. Not what I was expecting, to be fair. I was expecting, when well, I was being first and second in the grid, to at least be in the top ten. We can only hope that the, in, the new engines will be ready in the next race or two. And we can get them fitted, and then hopefully we can get the gearbox fitted, and then new brakes, and then we will be an amazing team. So guys, as you can see, not the greatest race in the world from us. Engine failures cost us again. We have two new engines, <coughs> excuse me, but we are working on fixing them. This is a problem. I don't want to fit them whenever the reliability is only 40%. So we get halfway around a race and we have to change, fix it every single race. Now, at the minute, I know we are with the other engine, but they're quicker to fix at the minute. So if we have a quick look here at the championship table, we ain't going to be doing too good. Well, we haven't changed nothing yet, so we should pass scrutineering with ease. So once we fit stuff, that's whenever we might get the issues. And, yay, no rules broken. Go high-tech racing! <laughs> There we go, drivers championships, where are we? We must be the last two drivers. Oh, we're not last, Woo! well we are, we're the bottom three drivers. Woohoo! And we are now bottom of the points table as well. Boo! Boo! <laughs> but, I'd say three out of eight rounds, if by round five we have our new engines, a new gearbox. If we got our new engines by round five, I'll be happy because then that's going to give us a better engine, better reliability, and we can actually work on something. So that is the whole aim: is by round four to have the new engines fitted. By the end of this next race, we need to have the engines fitted. So the last stint of these four races, we have quality engines. Hopefully, we'll have the gearbox as well. We may not have brakes, but we'll have gearbox. And we'll have an engine, which should make us more dominant in this field. Might actually push us up a little, stop us finishing 16th, 17th. We might start finishing 10th and 8th, which is where I want to be by the end of the season. Finishing in the top 10 at the end of each race. So next year, whenever we come into this race in, we can dominate the, f the field. We'll have quality cars, etc. And hopefully, we can build on from it. So as you can see we're putting eight hundred and seventy five thousand pounds away every race towards a new car. We're in the green again, plus sixty two thousand, which is good. That's what we want it. 
Uh, that's uh, all the championships above. Don't need to worry about any of that. I'm saving again. So, guys, thank you very much for coming and watching our Motorsport Manager. Apologies it wasn't the most exciting one other than uh, our engine failures. But don't forget to check out all the channels. Hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying the little series that we're running. And if you're a newbie, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our other content. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching yet again. It's been a pleasure as always. All the best. Take it easy. Bye.